Hello everyone, this is Chris from NokiaInnovation.com. Uh, today I'm going to take a look at Hear Maps across two different platforms. Uh, first on the Nokia N9, which I've recently got back in my possession. And also on the Lumia 920 running Windows Phone 8. Uh, the reason I want to take a look at it is I always thought found on the Nokia N9 that it had some really nice features which don't quite which you don't always find on um on here maps on windows phone hopefully the, those features will come uh, one of my favorite things that you had on here is this is the city of bath by the way where i grew up uh, you had 3d mode and what that allows you to do is zoom in at kind of a 3d level so you can really get in amongst the buildings. You can also, you've also got two finger rotation. So you can really take a look at some of the landmarks. Um, now on here maps on Windows Phone, you just do not unfortunately have those features. You do have the buildings. But there is nowhere in the options where you can select to, you haven't got the two finger rotation and you haven't got a 3D view. Uh, you do have a couple of other things. You've got live site, which if you're in the area, it allows you to actually look around you. Just do an example, you can pick it up. Now obviously this doesn't really work because I'm not outside, but if I was it would it would work. But that's not quite what I'm after now. Now going back into Bath. Uh now one area where I have found the features of the Mego Harmattan Nokia Maps and Windows Phone Nokia Maps kind of blended together is on Windows 8. As you can see, you've got not only have you got the landmarks, you've got the two finger rotation, And you've also got a panning mode where you can zoom in and rather than selecting 3D maps or bird's eye view, you've got the option using your two fingers to swipe up and down to change the view as you see fit. And I don't know if you can see that, but the buildings also, you also get this sort of 3D buildings that grow as you zoom in. We just zoom in there, you can see they all just come out of the ground. I think that's really good. Now, another thing you've got on the Hair Maps app for Windows Phone 8.1, sorry, for Windows 8.1, is street level, meaning you can actually look around the streets. Uh, very similar to what we've seen on Google Maps, of course, and it runs quite smoothly it does take it on this particular windows 8.1 device which is the dow xps 10 it takes a little while for the images to render now i expect on more recent devices like the lumia 2520 it works a bit quicker uh, there's the bath abbey um now as far as i'm aware there is no option for a street level on Windows Phone, which is unfortunate. But what it may surprise you to know is there is an app on here. It's separate from the mapping app. Uh, it was in Beta Labs for quite a while, but you can get it from the Nokia store. And it is called uh, City Scene. And it is here. Um, you do again, you get the buildings as such. Uh, now, when I first downloaded this, there was only about six cities which you could 
um, look round. Uh, they have uh, updated that, and you've now got bath included. Uh, it takes a little while to load. You do have to have a 3G connection for it to work. And you know, panning around, very similar. And, Double tap. It's not quite as fast as uh, as you get on here, for example. Are we in the same place? Not quite. Let's see if I can get these two to the same area. I know what that is, actually. How do you come out? That's it. Uh, if I zoom out of the map, what you do see is all the areas around which have street view, uh, sorry, street level. And as you can see in England, certainly in my area, if I click on that, it's just these coloured in blue areas. So they've covered big places like London, Birmingham, Bristol, Cardiff, and the Bath area, and further up Manchester and Liverpool. Like I said, it does take a little bit of loading time. Uh, I'm not sure if they're exactly the same pictures. We'll have a look. Yep, the white van's there. And the white van's there. So, yep, um, City Scene, which was a beta app, is still available. And it's showing all the latest pictures, which I think is great. I am looking forward to something like City Scene coming up on Windows Phone. Uh, right, one more feature, which I really like of the Nokia N9. Which you don't get on, well which is slightly different on Windows Phone. It's just the little touches, you know? If we zoom right out on our map, you just get that, you know, a repeated view of the Atlas, which is fine. But if we do it on the N9, we'll zoom right out. Keep going as high as we can. And look, you get this really cool globe that you can spin around. You can see where it's night time. And guess what? You also find it on the Windows 8.1 app as well. You close that. See, you've got your same, you've got your same globe, and I really like that. And the stars all move around in the background. No stars on this version, unfortunately. Uh, we'll just take a very quick look at the satellite view. Now, I'm not sure if you can still do 3D mode. It appears you can. So yeah, this is my reasoning for really liking here. Oh, Nokia Maps, as it was is called on the N9. But my reason for really liking here Maps on the N9 and Windows Phone. Uh, sorry, Windows 8.1. Right, we'll zoom into the road I grew up on as a child, the Oval. And we'll see how different the pictures are. They actually look a bit different. I'm not sure whether they're slightly more up to date on one or the other. But 
but actually I'm kind of tempted to say they look better on the N9. Is that right? Or we'll just take a look on here on the 920. Satellite view. Alright. Yeah, it appears to have very similar yeah, the, the same kind of pictures you've got on the N9 is on the 920. That's my quick look at Hair Maps on Windows Phone 8, Nokia Maps on Mega Harmattan on the Nokia N9, and Hair Maps on Windows 8.1. Thanks for watching. Uh, there are more things here which I didn't really touch on. It's actually a really nice app, but perhaps I'll explore that another day. Thanks for watching. This is Chris, knockinnovation.com. See you soon. Bye.